What's up YouTube, it's Matthew here and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna talk about my journey into closing a deal that I currently have. Now, I currently have this property that I'm interested in. I've been following up with the seller, but I still don't have a contract and it's because of price. And so I'm just gonna talk to you all about how I found the deal, different follow-up sequences that I use, uh, the price, location, and the buyers that I'm working with. Before we go on, be sure to like this video, subscribe, turn on post notification bell, and comment down below. Smash that like button, it really helps this channel become more discoverable, and this video also. Uh, and make sure you guys subscribe, there's a lot of you all that watch my videos but are not subscribed, so please subscribe. So, basically, Let's talk about this deal that I have. You know, this is what you all want to hear. And I'm just like you guys. I'm, I'm beginning, I'm growing this business just like you all. And so I got this um, lead just from sending out an absentee, high equity high absentee list. Uh, so basically that means people who own a house but don't live in it and they own 70% or more of that property. I got this property from that list and this woman called me. The property is a very uh, low value property. I was thinking to just trash this lead, but I'm just learning to not overthink things and to take whatever I get because I'm beginning. Like I need, I need not to overthink this. So basically, the property appraised for 40k. When I first called her, she wanted, she was asking for 35. I was like, uh, don't think I could do that. And I just threw out a number. I said, 20K, would you consider that? She was like, no, could possibly do 32. And this was months ago, probably. So today's November 14th. And this was probably back in August when I contacted her, when she called me, left the voicemail. So I was like, uh, but I kept it in my follow-up sequence. And so I will follow up with her um, probably a month or two, every, no, every two weeks. The thing is she currently had a tenant in the property and she was trying to get them out and she and the tenant had their children who was squatting in the property and whatnot. And so with all that, um, there was just a bunch of issues with that. And she was like, hey, I'm trying to get rid of them. And you know, me being a beginner, I'm just say, hey, you know, I'll take care of that. You know, not really knowing what to do, but I told her that. Um, and she was like, no, 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 I got it, I got it. And then a few weeks passed by and probably a month passed by and she finally calls me back. I thought this lead was dead. And she was like, hey, I finally got the tenants out. I was wondering if you're still interested. I was like, yes, of course. And then, you know, we started talking about a price price again and she was all like 32. I was like, uh, I'm at 20. So all the time I stuck with my number of 20K. Um, and she was like, I could possibly do 28. I was like, ah, I'm still at 20. And then we just started talking about different things. She talked about on the property, how it did need work. Um, I may show you all a photo here, but in the bathroom, the toilet is like in the ground. It's just a flooring issue. The foundation is actually pretty good. Um, it's on like this concrete slab. So it's just flooring and putting up boards and whatnot. So it's not as bad as it looks. Uh, and then so Basically, we talked about that, and then she kind of went down. She went down to 25K. I was like, okay, okay. And I was like, okay, let me see the property. Is there a time that we can see this property? And, you know, I still wasn't getting that motivation from her. So I was still iffy on it. But anyways, I still met with her on a Sunday, and we saw the property after, actually this past Sunday. So today's the 14th, so that was the 10th, right? Right. Okay. Um, so yeah, so we saw the property, looked through it. I was like, okay. And then we started talking about price again. And she was like, I don't know about 20. I can do 24. It's just that with her, she was saying that, you know, I put money into the property. Um, and plus she had like a personal loan of 4k against the property that she made just for herself. Uh, and she was like, you know, I need to get above, you know, what I actually put into the property. I was like, okay, you know, that's perfectly fine, you know, and of course I, t I, I, I tell her, hey, have you considered listing it? And, you know, I actually told her, you know, we're, we're going to be your buyers even if you list it. And then you got to pay commission fee and all these different fees. She was like, ah, I don't know, you know, I'm still not in a rush to sell, but I'm all like, but I'm here, you know, thinking this in my mind, I'm here and I'm ready to, to close. 
But in the meantime, I was still finding cash buyers. And so I have two people who are highly interested. Um, they own a bunch of rentals around that area. And guy actually owns it next door. And they're saying, yeah, 15, 18K. I was like, damn, nowhere near. Um, and then now I met them. Uh, I met, I, I showed the property two days ago to one of the cash buyers. And, you know, he said his max is 20K. And I was at 20K. So I was like, okay. I have to try and negotiate. And so like, I have no purchase contract yet with the seller. Um, but what I want to do is clearly bring her down to 20 and then really bring my cash buyers up to 23, five. And maybe I'm doing too much with this deal, but you know, I'm learning in this process. So if I bring it out to 20, I'll say, hey, cash buyer, we can close tomorrow. If you can be 23,500, you, you have to pay all the closing costs, bam. And then I'll make 3500 from a 20K house, which is not bad to me. Um, it's not as large as I want, of course, but hey, you know, I'm putting the reps in. So uh, just basically wrapping things up, the ARV, the property value is around 40K. So this rental value is $400. It's a small one bedroom. It's only 480 square feet. Okay. And so, yeah, they they would only charge like $400. Uh, but one of the buyers said he would k actually kind of attach a second bedroom to it uh, to see if it works. But um, so, so that's that. The motivation behind it is just she, she wants to get rid of it. She, she's done with the property. Uh, she lives in a different city. And, but she really wants a good price. And then her timeline to sell, she doesn't really have a tight timeline, but we've been talking for the past few months about it. And the condition of the property, it's in rough condition. It's not super bad. It's just you need, you need to update a few things, but it's not gonna take more than five to 10 grand to fix it up and then you rent it for 400. Um, and so I know it'll be a deal for my, my buyers for sure. And yeah, so we'll see. I'm gonna call her actually tonight, you all. And I'm just gonna say, hey, you all, hey, we're ready to close. Uh, what are you thinking? I'm gonna just try to build more rapport with her, number one, and not talk so much about the house or the price. Just say, hey, how's it going? How are you? Have you given any thoughts? Open any questions where she can just talk. I subscribe, comment down below if you all have any questions. All right, talk to you all later.